Anyways, today's video is my the extra products I'm focusing on in August. So this is not like a project use it up or anything, but these are just the products that I am going to be using just around. Like these are random products I'm gonna put out for myself that I don't have to like go into my collection to get. I guess, and I'll explain because some of these are like room sprays. And um some of these are the kind of things I'm trying to use up, but like more organically and not in the project use it up way. So yeah, we're gonna get started. I have a basket of stuff here as you saw in the thumbnail. And I have a few full size fine fragrance mists um, that I just use for notes for some of the minis. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy getting started. Um, so the first thing is the Copper Coconut Sands Mini Body Cream. And I am filming on my front camera, so I hope like the words switch around. If not, I can, I think I can edit it to switch around. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm using this up. The, um, I think I got this with free gifts. As you can see, it's almost halfway gone. Um, it's all very nice. It is a little bit yellow. Um, not a lot, but slight tint. And I think that's because it has coconut and anything like coconut and vanilla seems to go yellow fast. But the notes for this one are Sunkissed Coconut, Soft Orchid Petals, and Creamy Sandalwoods. This smells exactly, almost exactly, like my um, Black Coconut Bamboo perfume from Zay Ferris, which is my brand, but, which is weird, because I did not get this until after I created those fragrances, I believe, um, and it smells very similar to that, so that surprised me a lot, but it also smells really good with my Bali Black Coconut Sands. I filmed this on August 1st, so yeah. Anyways, just, it smells amazing, and I really do like it. I do a midday moisture kind of thing, like, now I start to use my product used up moisturizers in the shower as in tar lotions. I use these as a midday or a morning moisturizer instead, um, because I really, I, I can't really go through them that fast if I don't use them in the shower, and I have such a huge collection, because those are lotions out there, scrubs in behind it, it's all the body creams. I need to use this stuff up <laughs> so yeah and the other body cream which is again working on it it's not as used to as that one but that's pink pineapple sunrise and this one this one is still come on focus this one's still completely white um it smells really good i do really enjoy the scent and the notes for that one are sweet pink pineapple palm sugar and sunrise nectar these are the full size look like for that but i'm not using these up yet but because i I got full sets for those. Um, if you haven't seen my house, go ahead and check them out. But yeah, okay, the next thing is a room spray. And I have recently been falling in love with the concentrated room sprays. I spray so much that I'm literally probably gonna cough and die if I sit there and breathe it. So I just close my door, keep my air conditioning on, which um, recycles cycles air outside and new air in. So that way I'm still left with a nice scent, but it's not deathly to me. Um, <laughs> anyways. This is Cactus Blossom. I used up Pink Apple Punch last month and I love that. And I have blackberries and basil in the bathroom, but that's just a bathroom rest, so I'm not really gonna put that in here. But Cactus Blossom will be the one this month in my room. It smells pretty good. It's not as sweet as the mist, but yeah. So the notes on that one would be cactus flower petals, sunkissed coconut, vanilla, and fresh sparkling lemon. And yeah. The body care definitely has a more sweet, sugary, perfumey vibe, but it's fine. So, a second room spray. And this is, I would call it a room spray because I sprayed on stuff in my room, but it's more of like a linen spray. Mint Chocolate Swirl. I bought four of them, sold four of them for all around $20. And then the demand caught up with, or supply, yeah, demand caught up with supply. And... Now they're just not very desirable. So I bought four more. Um, my mom kind of convinced me that. I don't know why I did because I was kind of felt like I shouldn't, but I did anyways. I've sold two um, and I have one left on for sale. It's I think it's at like $12 right now. That's a really good deal um, with free shipping. So anyways, I kept on for myself because it does smell similar to Coconut Mint Drop. And as much as I would like to say Coconut Mint Drop was not the favorite, I didn't like it until I actually wore it. And Coconut Mint Drop 
it's just amazing. This does not have as much of a minty smell as Coconut Mint Drop did, but it's me a nice refreshing mist for my bed sheets. Okay, next we have some hand sanitizers. And I suck at using up hand sanitizers for some reason. I just, I just can't do it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, so I'm using up the Find Your Happy Place Sweet Treats Hand Sanitizers Brown Sugar and Caramel. Let's see. Um, I'm like right about there where my thumb is right there. So I'm kind of at the hand sanitizer word. This smells okay. Um, it does kind of smell like strawberry waffles. So, you know. I'm then using up Mango Cove. And I got this because I absolutely adore mango scents. This smells like honeysuckle on my hands. Honeysuckle, not mango. And this has a honeysuckle note in it. I mean, so I agree, but I agree. But anyways, not too happy about that one. Oh my gosh, the lighting just totally changed the window. Anyways, I'm also using up iced cinnamon rolls. This one smells so good. And I know I love iced cinnamon rolls. In fact, you would have already seen my project use that video. Um, I'm using up the mini mist. It just smells so amazing and sweet and delicious on your hands, so I'm using that one up um, because my mini's bin is kind of overflowing, so, you know, I'm trying to work on that. And then I'll be at, I'll be using the At The Beach Sea Salt Hair Mist, and this bottle was, like, completely opaque. Um, I think you're, like, right about there, kind of at the top of the At The Beach um, lettering. This does smell like At The Beach. It does, like, give your hair a little hold. My hair is super frizzy and super non-curly today because um, I didn't wash it and I didn't refresh it either. So <laughs> that's definitely the best repair. But this really does, it acts as like a hairspray without being hairspray texture. And I really like that. Because one thing about me, I absolutely detest hairspray. I hate it for no reason, but I just, I just hate it. The last thing I'm using up is the InStyle Fragrances, inspired by Donna Karen's Cashmere Mist. I'm like there. All I do with this is I spray this on a random winter jacket I have hanging in my closet. Because I cannot stand the smell of this. It doesn't smell like cashmere. It smells like grassy old ladies. Um, sorry if it's offensive to anybody. That's my opinion. And not every old lady. By old lady, I'm talking about people in their 80s. Like... I'm not talking about like 50s and 60s, that's really not that old. Um, anyways, yeah, like, it's just like that old lady at church smell, and there are a lot of people in their 80s at our church, and many of the women smell kind of like this, and so, I don't know why I picked it up, but I did. I couldn't smell it first, so, anyways, I thought it would smell better. I really, really, really do not like it, and yeah, that's how I'm using it up in the closet, so we can't smell it. <laughs> Anyways, that was the end of my bin. I hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you later. Bye!